probably wearing the same outfit as my last video because I'm filming in bulk right now. I wanted to talk to you today about the benefits of UV resin. I haven't done a dedicated video to UV resin other than trying it for the first time, so I wanted to talk a little bit about it. Hi, my name is Meg. I have been a resin artist for five years and I make videos about resin, small business, and wellness content. So if any of that interests you, please consider subscribing and like this video because it really helps out my channel. I've gotten some questions on my channel about the difference between UV resin and epoxy resin, so I thought I would just go over that. Basically, UV resin is one part resin and it cures under a UV lamp or it cures under the sunlight, um, which is kind of cool. And then epoxy resin is two parts resin and hardener. Sometimes it's equal parts of both, sometimes it's a different ratio. You just have to work with whatever your brand is. Just mix them together and it cures over the span of 24 to 48 hours for a full cure. But just to be a little more clear, UV resin is not mixed with anything else, it's just one part. And so the the most obvious and most amazing benefit of UV resin is it cures within minutes. No way! It's already hard! It's life changing. So you're looking at a few minute cure time versus epoxy resin which is over 24 hours typically. This is a great feature and it can help you get your projects done a lot faster. If you're trying to get orders out fast, it's a great tool to use. However, I do find I'm a little bit limited in what I can make with it. I would say the best thing to use UV resin for is jewelry, but my recommendation, quick tip, is to coat the flower or whatever you're putting in the resin first. Don't put it in, don't just coat it kind of over top and underneath. Coat it before and then put it in. It just kind of helps to make sure it's all around. I find personally that UV resin doesn't coat things as well as epoxy resin does. I guess it does coat things just as well. I just feel like I have to take a little bit extra precaution to make sure that it is getting coated. And what else do I recommend UV resin for? Also top coating. So I made these custom letters where I put on people's names with a Cricut and then I wanted to seal them. So instead of using epoxy resin as the top coat where you're gonna seal it and then have to sit another 24 hours, you can just cure that top layer in a few minutes and get that order out that day if you wanted. That is a huge benefit because epoxy resin can take a long time to finish and that would be two days of work instead of just one if you're using the UV resin. Another amazing use of UV resin is to use it as a glue because super glue on resin I find can get a bit chalky. So let's say you're making a hair clip and you've made the little hair clip piece and you wanna put the actual clip onto it, you can use UV resin to cure that. It's a great way to do that because anytime I've used super glue, I feel like the actual resin piece that I've made gets kind of chalky and it's not transparent anymore. It can also work if you're sticking something onto resin such as little mushrooms and you want them to stand up properly. You can just use a bit to kind of glue it down. I made a little mini mushroom world and I glued the mushrooms to the wooden piece to help it stand up. You can make jewelry with it, you can use it as a top coat, and you can use it as glue. I wanted to add in some things to note. The best results are going to come from clear molds. You know how some molds can be pink, blue, and they're just solid colors. You're going to want to use clear molds when you're working with UV resin because when you're curing it you have to flip it over, cure both sides, and make sure everything is getting cured under the light. So if it's a solid color you may not be able to cure the other side of it very well. I find that UV resin has a little bit of a smell so just make sure you're working with protective equipment and in a well-ventilated area. I think that this brand I use kind of smells the least from what I've worked with, but I know that it can have quite a strong chemical smell. If your project just doesn't want to cure that day, something's going wrong with it, you can actually stick it in the sun and I think you put it under the sun for 30 minutes and it will also cure because the UV light from the sun will help to cure your project. That is UV resin, what it is, what you can do with it, how it works. I will also link my favorite brand of UV resin and the lamp that I use in my Amazon storefront so that you can shop for my supplies. I just updated my storefront with a ton of new stuff so it really helps me out when you shop through my links. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you here. Please give me any other video suggestions down below. Thank you for being here and hope to see you in my next video. Bye!